Hi, I'm Seth with Land of House. In this video, I'm checking out the Sunbonner 1000 Lumen Auto On Off Solar Powered Light. <laughs> That's a, a mouthful. So this is the second Sunbonner product that I have worked with, and uh, so far I'm very pleased with the quality of the build. It is an all aluminum body, has uh, I think 45 LEDs here on the front. And let's just uh, let's dive into the features real quick and I'll show you what this light is all about. With this particular kit, you get the light itself, some mounting hardware, and the solar panel. So let's take a look at the light first here. Like I said, it has 45 LEDs across the front here, and it has a nice protective glass. It is an IP66, so it's good for rain and typical outdoor weather but you can also use this indoor if you wanted to. On the back, it has a, a, this uh, heat sink to uh, dissipate any heat. Also has this nice mounting handle here. On the bottom, you just have two things, the power connector and also the on-off button for the light itself. Now with the solar panel disconnected, if, I'm gonna, if I push this on button, the light is going to come on. So, which means if the solar panel is not receiving light, then this will turn on automatically, which is pretty nice for a dawn to dusk kind of situation. For the panel, it is a monocrystalline, and if I turn it over here, you have a nice long cord, and just for a little bit of uh, reading here, 10 watt, six volts, uh, just to give you that. Also has the mounting option here with this metal bracket. And then lastly in the kit is just the mounting hardware. Comes with uh, just a couple of bolts that will expand so they're good for uh, putting into concrete. So let's take a look at the light here. It has a thousand lumens, which means it is quite bright. So if I plug the connector up here, and the instruction booklet does say, make sure you make a firm connection like that. So it kind of has a snap to it. And that's gonna ensure that it is uh, water resistant. So, like I said, if I turn this button on, the panel is getting enough light here in the shop that it is not going to turn on. But if I kill the lights real quick, you can see that the panel is now quite bright. And uh, one thing, if you uh, shine this light on a solar panel, it dims it really low. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like here in the shop with all the lights out. It's almost dark out, so we can give this an outdoor test. So just taking a look here, you can see that is nice and bright. <laughs> Let me turn that panel away so it's not interfering there. Uh, I kind of like how it is a circular shape here instead of a square like you see on the box. But So that works out quite well indoors. Let's go ahead and go outside and give this a test out there. I've waited until it's almost dark out. Now this camera is amazing at low light, so you can still see it looks bright up here, but uh, it's actually darker than what you get to see. So uh, I've got the light out here. And let's go ahead and turn this on by pushing the button underneath. And it is super bright. You can see the kind of light that it's casting there. Uh, shoots off about 75 feet of good light. And then, uh, I mean, it's hitting the trees over there. You just can't quite see that. But as a uh, security light close to your house, definitely going to get the job done. Now, one thing I've noticed is when the light hits the solar panel, it almost turns off. <laughs> so if you have this in your yard, kind of facing the panel, it's not going to do very well. So definitely keep that in mind that you're going to want this to be uh, facing away from the panel. Okay, the camera is facing the woods now. Let me turn the light on. So as you can see, I've got a light all the way down there at the garden space and then up here at the trees definitely nice and bright so uh, as far as uh, security light goes this thing has got you covered all 
A couple of features to note here. It is a 6 volt 10 watt monocrystalline panel. The battery is a 3.7 10,400 milliamp hour lithium battery. Operates between 10 and 12 hours with a full charge. 1,000 lumens, 45 LEDs, IPX of 6.6, stainless steel and aluminum body. It has a waterproof on and off switch. That's important. And the cord from the panel is 16.4 feet. This light is pretty nice. It's very simple, which is actually one of the reasons I like it so much. Um, the remotes are fun, but just having a simple on off button and then a panel that will uh, determine whether or not it's bright out for an auto on or auto off is quite handy. If you're looking for a very simple but effective LED outdoor indoor light, then I have a link in the description down below so you can check this one out. If you're looking for a great security light for indoor or outdoor, then definitely check this one out. I'll have a link in the description down below. Now whenever this company sent me the light, they um, made a mistake with the solar panel and they immediately responded and sent a new one. So that tells me that their customer service is top notch. So definitely appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.